Sam here from Sheridan Computers and in this video I'm going to walk through how to install Greylog 4 on FreeBSD. Um, I assume you know what Greylog is and that's why you're looking at this video. Uh, Greylog is for log collection and management. All those logs that you collect from various services, um, you need to put them somewhere to analyse them and trigger alerts and whatever you're going to do with it. And a perfect solution for that is Greylog. So I'm going to jump straight in and do this. Um, if you do like this video and you find it useful, please uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. So let's jump straight in and take a look. So this is a completely fresh install of FreeBSD. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure it's up to date. Um, I'm going to do FreeBSD update fetch. Okay, so we're up to date. Um, so we want to get installed with uh, Greylog. Before I do that, there's a couple of utilities that I want to install. Um, now, one thing to note is if I do package search Greylog. <coughs> excuse me. So the quarterly packages are using Greylog version 3 and we want version 4. Um, if we have a look over at fresh ports, the latest is on version 4 and the quarterlies are on version 3, so we're going to need to update them as well. Uh, right, so the first thing we want to do is to update to the latest packages. So I'm going to do make the uh, minus p user local etc package repos. And I'm going to copy the FreeBSD file from there to user local etc package repos. Edit the file. And we need to change this URL from quarterly to latest. And then we're going to package update minus F. So now if we search for Greylog, we should be on the latest version. Yes, version 4. Uh, so as I said, I'm going to install some utilities first, just to make this go a little bit easier. So the first one I'm going to install is Duaz. Uh, Duaz is similar to sudo. Uh, and I'm going to do copy user local etc. Duaz sample file. I want to copy that to duaz.conf, and we need to make some changes to that file. I'm going to delete this stuff. And I'm going to do permit, no pass, keep EMV, the wheel group as root. I had to save that. So now we should be able to use do as. And we want to install Tmux. Okay. So having Tmox installed um, is not critical, but it will make your life a little bit easier. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to install Greylog. Let's go ahead. Yes. Okay, so that's Greylog installed and its dependencies. Um, now you'll note OpenJDK wants support for these, adding to FS tab. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just paste those in. I'll just tidy this up a little bit. Save that. Uh, and now we can mount these. We're copying these commands. So do as, and the same with proc. So now we've got Greylog installed, um, we're going to want to install Elasticsearch. So if you're using Greylog version 3, you'll have to use Elasticsearch 6. Um, we're using Greylog 4, which will support Elasticsearch 7. So uh, we also need MongoDB. So I'm going to do package search. Elasticsearch. 
And you can see we have Elastic Search 7. I'm going to go copy that and do ours package install Elastic Search 7. Okay, so when you install the packages from FreeBSD, it does give you some uh, recommendation and notices. Uh, one is Elasticsearch requires memory locking of large amounts of RAM. So you may need to set. So let's go ahead and set this. Uh, and then we're going to make that persist across reboots with editing, etc. sysctl.conf. We'll just paste that in there. Remove the sysctl command that just ran. So security.bsd.unprivileged underscore mlock equals one. We don't need to reboot because we uh, run this manually here. Um, the next thing we want to install is MongoDB. So let's find that package search MongoDB. Um, 44 is the latest, so we're going to use that. Do our package install MongoDB 44. Okay, so now we have Elasticsearch installed, we've got MongoDB installed, and we've got Greylog installed, but we still need to um, make the configuration changes. So we're going to go into user, local, etc. Greylog. And if we look in here, we've got some files that we need to edit. Greylog.conf. So I'll do ours, vi, greylog.conf. Right, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is to set all the directory paths, uh, which we can do with searching for underscore dir. So we've got bin underscore dir, which, if I recall correctly, is user local share. Greylog. Yep, so the bin DR is where your Greylog jar file is. Um, so we're going to change that to user local share Greylog. Data DIR, I'm going to set this to var db Greylog data. And the plugin directory, which was in here, just double check that with there. So paste that in. Um, search for more directories. So message journal DIR. I'm going to change that to var db Raylog. And then data journal. Save that. I don't think there's any other directory path. So the content paths we can set that. Um with our DB data content packs. So via DB Greylog data content packs. Put them to load. Uh, so that's those done. Uh, so going back to the top of the file. Is master equals true. So we want this on. Um, the auto generated node ID will be stored in this file and read after it restarts. It's a good idea to use an absolute file path here if you start in Greylog server from init scripts or similar. So I'm going to change this to user local etc Greylog server node ID. Um, password. So we need to set a, a secret which gives you the commands to do this here. If I copy that, and we try and paste that command, it will fail. So we need to install EWGen. 
Then if we try that again, we have that. And we can go and paste it in here. So the default root user is named admin. Uh, you can change that if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not bothered. So we need uh, to specify a hash password for the root user. Um, so in order to do this, again, it gives you the commands here. So we're going to copy that. This will fail again because it won't find SHA sum. So we need to go ahead and install that with do as package install p5 digest SHA. Okay, let's try that command again. So now it works. So this command echo minus n your password. You want to set this to the password that you want for the login interface. It gives us our hash. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, and I'm going to paste that in there. Save that. Uh, root email is obviously your email address. And then we have the default time zone. So we're going to want to change this to your time zone. For me, it's Europe, London. Obviously, you're going to have to set that to wherever you, wherever you are. Uh, we've done a data directory. Uh, HTTP bind address. So by default, it will listen on 127.0.0.1. In order for, the, for us to be able to access this, we need to change HTTP bind address. And I'm going to set that equal to 0.0.0.0 colon 9123. So we want it to listen on all interfaces on port 9000. Um, I'm not sure there's anything else we need to change in here. Uh, we don't need to change that unless it's different or that. Um, so you can adjust the, you can change these settings to your own requirements if you want to enable TLS um, then you can put the certificate files in here which I would recommend uh, for these for current purposes we're not going to do that um, so elastic search listens on 92000127001 by default that's fine And we should be good. Now, back at the beginning of the file, there was this node ID file. So we need to make sure that this file exists. Uh. Do it again. So use the local, etc. Graylog. We need to make sure that file exists. So make the R minus P. Use the local, etc. Server. Me. And then we want to make sure the file exists. So we've created the directory. We've created the um, file that it wants. And now we need to um, make sure that the permissions are set right. So let's do, do our CHL minus R. Grey log, grey log, user, logo, etc. Grey log. So that should be grey log pretty much configured. Uh, the next we're going to want to do is Elasticsearch. And I want to edit Elasticsearch YAML file and change the cluster name in here. 
It's Greylock. And now we can start the services. Um, so we want to ensure they start on startup. So we're going to do sys rc um, elastic search underscore enable equals yes. Me, keep doing that. Uh, and then we want mongod underscore enable equals yes. And lastly, Gray log underscore enable equals yes. So let's go ahead and start the services. So we'll start Elasticsearch. We'll start MongoD. And finally, Gray log. So our services should all be started in order to check. To check. We can do do ours net stat minus an grep 9300. So we've got our service listening there. And there. Uh, but we haven't there. So why is that not working? Let's do cat bar log gray log server dot log so I cannot create journal dot var oh I've made an error service So we'll stop that. So as you can see, I've made an error here. Let's go into the Greylog directory. Uh, let's go DR. And just double check the directory settings. So we've got use local share Greylog for WinDR. Data DR is var db Greylog. Plugin DR is use local share Greylog plugin, which is correct. And this is where I made the mistake. So message journal DR equals var db could be grey log data journal. And again we can try and start the service. And it's still not running. Um, maybe it just took some time to start. Yes, it did, and it is running. Here, it just took like a minute to start. So now we head over to oh, nine thousand, and we have the grey log logging screen. So this was admin, which we didn't change, and the password. So now you have um, Greylog successfully installed. Uh, in order to test this, all we can do, uh, go to system, inputs. I'm going to create a new input. Um, if you're not too familiar with this process, I, you need to read up on Greylog. I will probably do some more videos on this. But we're going to use um, syslog UDP, launch a new input. I'll give it a title of PF Sense. I'm going to listen on a different port so we can listen on 8514. Um, we can leave this. Just check these for a minute. Mm -hmm. 
So now we also want to go into indices. We'll create a new index set. We'll call this PF Sense. Give it an index prefix. Analyzer, fine. Um, so this is just a test to make sure they're actually working. And I'm going to set this to index rotation logs. I'll set to one day and keep 30 days. So we've created that. Go ahead and start sending some syslogs into here. So you'll notice we've got no data coming in here. I'll do this on another window. So in PF sense, I'm basically just turning on enable remote logging. So LAN IPv4, I'm going to select to log everything to 10.1.10.245.85.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.10.1.